We are keeping you on antibiotics, but your blood pressure is dangerously low, Maxie, so we're going to have to monitor you very closely. Is there anything else we can do? Yes. She must not have any physical or emotional stress whatsoever. Nothing that's going to excite her or upset her. <coughs> Actually, perfect. <laughs> now it's official. You have to be nice to Spinelli. Okay, you put that back on, and that's the spirit. I have every confidence you're going to be okay. You have rallied before, Max. You'll do it again. Keep that on. I'll be back soon. Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> everybody, everybody needs to cheer up. You heard Dr. Quartermain? Gonna be fine. I have no doubts that Maximista will make a full and shining recovery. strongest and most resilient person I know. And I know that you'll be well again soon enough. And on that note, I must embark on a brief mission to retrieve something for you. Luna, you'll find out soon enough, okay? I love you. Uh, is there uh, anything I can get for you? Anything you need? Look, I, I know how you don't like me to hover, but it's my job to worry, okay? And I guess that just means that you now have to do your job and pull through this with flying colors. I know you will. Um, I have to check on that. That's for something to I just didn't want to get upset for the Maxie. It's okay, you don't have to be worried. It just reminds me of when she was a little girl, you know? I hate having to watch her go through this all over again. I mean, it was a miracle she survived. I'm just afraid that miracle is running out. I'm sorry I've been so rough on Spinelli. I'm just worried about you, that's all. And I guess maybe I'm a little jealous. I raised you, watched you grow up. It's hard to let go. I'm used to being the top dog, I guess. Mac. I still love you just as much as I always have. And I plan to keep doing that for a long time. myself together. I cannot let Maxie see how worried I am. Okay she has to, to stay worried. positive. How do you can relate to Maxie? Yeah, there's a lot of similarities between living with HIV and living with a heart transplant. They're both chronic conditions, so you just have to maintain. You have to trust the drugs are working and try not to think about if they don't. Well, it scares me too. It's hard to imagine what my life would be like without you. So I don't. I just think about how great it is with you. Do I need to wait to go in? Or... No, go in. She needs you to cheer her up. That's exactly what the jackal intends to do. I guess this is my cue to check in with the station. So it's just a, a little something I've been working on. Uh, I intended to give you the full version on the one year anniversary of our non-wedding, but I decided a little preview was in order to cheer you up. So without further ado, I present to you our life together in pictures. Okay, 
It's my privilege to be joined by a woman who needs no introduction, Maxie Jones. Where do you get your inspiration? Oh, I owe it all to my amazingly talented non-husband, Damien Spinelli. He is a little camera shy, but this is the man who makes everything possible for me.